Hi, I'm Anne Sullivan of Harp Mastery, where harp happiness is a daily practice and a way of life. And today we're talking about scales, how to make your scales even and fluid and beautiful. And I'll show you seven things that you can do. We're going to start by playing a one octave scale, just with one hand. And what you want to do is play the scale fairly softly and fairly slowly. Your goal is to watch each of your fingers, make sure that it plays with the best techniques, technique possible, and to listen to the sound of each of your fingers. Do the fingers sound the same in terms of tone and dynamic? That's the first thing to do. Then we're going to take apart that pesky turnaround in the middle of the phrase, in the middle of the scale, and make sure that your thumb and your fourth finger are both playing well that your thumb is nice and long and closes over, that your fourth finger closes into your hand, that they have an equal sound and dynamic. Be sure that your hand is centered over those two fingers. You don't want it pulled back or forward one way or the other. Just keep it nice and centered. Then when your turnaround is pretty good, what you want to do is use that turnaround and work from the middle out in your scale. Making sure that as you shift forward and backward, your hand centers right over the turnaround and then below it or above it, whichever way you're moving. So you'll work your scale from the middle out. And now you've worked your fingers so they're pretty even. They should still be relaxed and happy. And you want to begin to phrase your scale so that it doesn't sound like a bunch of separate notes, but that it has a legato, a phrase, and just a flow to it. It doesn't have to go faster, although you can go a little faster if you want. of a musical arch to it. Then the fun comes. You can start by adding a little bit more volume to your scale. Be sure that your hand and fingers are still relaxed and that your fingers still get a nice even dynamic. Then add some dynamics to your scale, maybe starting soft and crescendoing to the top and then decrescendoing on the way down or vice versa, right? You could start loud and decrescendo up to the top and then crescendo on the way down. You're listening for a very even gradation of change so that it doesn't abruptly get louder or softer, but that it's very gradual over the course of the scale. And that you have a real piano and a real forte, that your dynamics are noticeably different, right? You're increasing your dynamic range at the same time. And then, of course, the last thing you want to put on is some speed. And I would start softly again. Keep your hand very, very relaxed. And just work at speeding up your scale. Now, that's a one octave scale. Of course, you can work in more than one octave, as many octaves as you like. And you should be also working your left hand. I just showed you the left hand today. I just went through these steps very quickly, but if you would like a PDF that goes through each step in just a little bit more detail, click on the link here in the video or in the description below, in the description box, and I'll be happy to send you a PDF so that you can have that as a reference when you practice your own scales. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my YouTube channel, either by clicking on the link here in the video or on the subscribe button beneath the video. That way you will have immediate updates for all the new videos that I'll be posting over the next few weeks. Thank you so much again and I look forward to seeing you soon for more harp happiness.